Hello everyone. I hope you didn't see the last uh, video. It was all screwed up. I didn't have my battery set right. So anyway, I'm about ready to add the resin to the stator. I gotta cut out a circle around that and get it all sealed in and tie, tie the wires together in parallel. And then I have to encase that in resin as well. Make sure all the magnets are lined up perfectly and spaced out perfectly as well as the coils here. You can see I made the new coils. It's best I've read that you, the thickness or the, the more area of the coil that the magnet passes through is better and my other coils didn't have that area. It's still a hundred turn on 22 gauge wire. I used 22 gauge instead of a higher gauge like 14. That's more for low RPM applications for uh, an alternator. So, all they did was make a homemade winder out of plastic there, plastic covers, and notched it out so I could tape it up while it's still inside the. This turns to here, sideways, and you, you can tape it up. So, it's pretty cool. Just something I threw together. You can see it's just clamped down. So, what are you going to do? You got to work with what you got. So anyway, that's the update. I'm going to encase it in this stuff. I got AutoZone. It's just a fiberglass resin jelly and you put a little hardener in it. Spread it all over evenly. Clamp the coils down so they're even and flat. And do the same with the uh, rotor on the magnets and stuff. And I'll hook it up, throw it on a bridge rectifier and See if we can make some electricity with the pulse motor. Anyway, talk to you guys later. Let me know what you think. Ciao.